What's up guys, Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beers, here to bring you Reflections of Asheville Part 2. Now I released a video for Part 1 yesterday, and you can find that link in the description below. But yesterday's video covered my trip along with my parents to Asheville, North Carolina, one of the craft beer capitals certainly of the country, if not the world. Covered our activities on Saturday, and this Part 2 video now will cover what we checked out on Sunday and a trip I made on Monday before coming home to Columbia, South Carolina. So on Sunday afternoon, we started off at Highland Brewing Company. Now on this trip, I tried to make it a goal to avoid breweries where I can get the beers locally here in Columbia, but Highland is one of my favorites. I especially love their Gaelic Ale, and I was able to share that with my parents on this trip, so I was glad to be able to check out their brewery and tap room area. Um, they have a really beautiful facility, nice tap room, and a lot of outdoor space for music and for people to enjoy a, a pint while being outside in the hopefully beautiful North Carolina weather. While at Highland, I tried a flight of several different beers, including a few things I can't get down here in Columbia, as well as I got a sample of the Gaelic Ale for my parents to try. Again, I was glad to let them try a beer that I'm a really big fan of, and they must have enjoyed it as well. They took a six-pack back home to Pennsylvania with them. It's, the Highland beers aren't available up there, so uh, they took a six-pack of the Gaelic Ale back home, back home with them. Um, things I tried, their Taskle 2 or Taskle the Second Ale. I think the second pronunciation is correct, but their Taskle the Second Scotch Ale, as well as a beer that I'll be reviewing this coming weekend, their Mosaic Rye, IPL, or India Pale Lager. After Highland, which is located a little bit outside of the city, we returned to Asheville and headed to the River Arts District. Um, there we checked out Wedge Brewing, which is located right on the French Broad River. Um, so it's a nice area. Being in the River Arts District, it's a funky part of town. That's kind of reflected in the whole, uh, whole Wedge Brewing setup. A real small tap room, but a large outdoor space, again, sitting right on the river. And kind of a recycled, funky vibe for all the seating and the tables and the entire setup there at Wedge Brewing. Uh, decent beers as well. Um, so enjoyed going to Wedge. And after that, we stayed in the River Arts District, walked around, checked out some of the artists, uh, grabbed some lunch at a brick oven pizza place. Had a real nice time in the, the River Arts District of Asheville. From the River Arts District, we headed to West Asheville. There are a couple of breweries in West Asheville, but uh, we were again starting to get a little bit of palate fatigue from a, a solid day and a half of beer drinking. So we only stopped at one place, and it wasn't a brewery, but it was called Poor Tap Room. And uh, West Asheville in general, uh, it's a super funky neighborhood. My my parents compare it to some of the smaller towns in California wine country. Very colorful, a lot of really unique places, including this poor tap room. Had uh, local beers as well as beers from all over the country and even some imports. But basically each of the taps, and there's about a 30, 30 to 40 tap wall, each of the taps were available for you to pour and you could pour as much or as little beer as you want and you were charged by the ounce. That's a unique setup I've seen. You got a little Radio frequency tag, put it up to the, the beer tap, pour out as much beer as you want, and you would get charged 50 cents an ounce or 75 cents an ounce, however much that beer costs. But it's good because you don't need to necessarily pour yourself a pint of everything. If you want to just try it, you can get yourself just one or two ounces, or if you're not in the mood for something super strong, or at least not a full pint of something super strong, pour yourself half a glass and uh, be on your way. So that summed up all of our beer adventures for Sunday. Um, on Monday, my parents had a considerable drive back to Pennsylvania, so they got up first thing and started driving north. But with me just having about a three-hour drive, I uh, took a little bit of a detour, and before heading back home, stopped in Waynesville, North Carolina, home of Frog Level Brewing. Frog Level has a really great setup, a kind of a rustic tap room feel. But you go out the back of the tap room, and you're right on a porch with a beautiful view of a small river or a creek. 
Um, it's just real, real beautiful. Lots of trees. There's lots of shade, which will be good in the summer. And go out there and enjoy your beer. I had a, a sampler of several of their beers, and it was really nice. Here in Columbia, we do get some of the frog level, but we don't get a lot. It's a lot of salamander, slam, and a, a brown ale, a couple of different things, an IPA. But um, everything I had when I was at frog level... I had never had before. It doesn't make its way out here to uh, down here to Columbia, South Carolina. Um, so a number of different things: a, a porter, a brown, a smoked brown ale, a chili beer that wasn't quite my thing, and a couple of others. Um, so that was a really neat drinking experience to have all beers that I had never, never had, never even heard of before. Um, I'll be reviewing beers from Frog Level and really beers from all over Asheville that I had this past weekend. That'll all be coming up in the next uh, couple weeks at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. You'll find all the reviews, video, and written at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. We are also on Twitter and Facebook. All those links will be in the description below, along with a link to Reflections of Asheville Part 1, the first part of this video. That's it for uh, Poorly Reviewed Beer. We'll see you.